Days ahead at the Peanut Festival tomorrow is $2 off Tuesday. All food vendors will take $2 off orders of $10 or more. Wednesday will feature the Dream Big Food Drive for the Wireless food, Wiregrass Food Bank. And if you bring a minimum of three cans of food or one jar of peanut butter, you get gated mission for eight bucks and a an ride armband is $25. Thursday is Senior Citizens Day from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. The gates will open to the general public at 430. And tonight the fun is just getting underway. The gates opening just 30 minutes ago. It's Farmers and Alpha Members Day where pre-registered farmers and their families get in free while other Alpha members get in at a discount. At 630 tonight, there's a musical performance by LA Pistols and Pearls. And at 7 tonight, the Calf Scramble and Grease Pig Scramble takes place at the Bank Plus Arena. For more on that, let's head back out live to the fairgrounds with WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. Robert. Yeah, hey, Mike, uh, it's more than just rice and food at the National Peanut Festival. How about something called the Grease Pig and Cow Scramble? And I mean, as a city boy, <laughs> that sounds very exciting to me. But the National Peanut Festival board, they are expecting about 3,000 people to fill the arena that's just behind me in about two hours. National Peanut Festival staff is setting up the stage for one of the most exciting agricultural events at the festival, the Grease Pig and Calf Scramble. We look forward to this every year. Uh, many families come out. We're going to have a packed house. Great weather and just look forward to it. We work really hard to try to let everybody come out here and have a good time. 20 contestants will have to catch 10 calves and another 20 will have to catch 10 pigs by putting a halter around their necks to bring them across the finish line. I mean to see these kids go uh, and catch these calves, they, they're going to be in the mud or not mud, dirt and they've got to get this calf in a good way. They have got to put that halter over them, uh, on them and, and get them across that line. We'll have guys helping across the finish line and making sure the calf is, is well taken care of. We're not going to let them be hurt. Not only is that a difficult task after the calves and pigs are caught, they will have to take care of them, which teaches students a life lesson that could benefit their education. Uh, work with them feed, water them, uh, keep up a record book. Then they'll be allowed to come back uh, to next year's open show of the Sunday before the next scramble and show it. They'll be eligible for a $5,000 scholarship, a Joe Carruthers scholarship. Now, Will says it's a lot of hard work, you know, just raising it, raising a farm animal. And I can about believe that for sure. But the show will start at 7 p.m. And then they would like for you to stick around and enjoy the fair. But not only that, also come back. They'll be having events all during the week. So make sure you check out some of those other events as well. We're live at the National Peanut Festival tonight. Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.